Yes, I'm reviewing a third-party figure. Hell has frozen over. Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the Toy Hacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSets that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is Transform Element MM03 Stinger Warrior, or Beast Wars Scorponok. Now, I was a huge fan of Scorponok in the Beast Wars cartoon, and was quite upset when they killed him off in the very first episode of Season 2. Now, I was really excited to see that Hasbro is releasing a new Beast Wars Scorponok in the Kingdom line. But... Upon closer inspection of him, he really doesn't look like his cartoon counterpart. And then I started seeing images of this guy, and this guy looks spot on to the Beast Wars cartoon version. Here he is in robot mode and scorpion mode. So when he was finally announced in stock and on sale, I immediately ordered one. I got this guy from Shozy Store, and he arrived 10 days after I ordered him. So let's take a quick look at the packaging. You've got the Stinger Warrior here in robot mode. And on the back of the box is Scorpion mode. Or they may, that may be the front. That may be the back. Side of the box, nothing. Top of the box, Stinger Warrior. Bottom of the box, words and stuff. So now, let's get this guy out of the packaging and see how true to the cartoon he really is. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. Now, once you get the Stinger Warrior all opened up and now the packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions that uh, is pretty neat because it actually uses images of the toy in the instructions. You can see pictures of the toy with the little red arrows of how this works. It's decent enough. There was a couple spots that kind of had me confused, but I figured it out nonetheless. He also comes with this little cyber bee, just like he used in the cartoon. And if you remember, the original Scorponok toy had one of his claws that could transform into the cyber bee. And the bee doesn't look too bad. He's got great paint applications, red eyes there, little red here on the back. Nice details on the wings that can fold in and out. And really, that's all this thing does. It has a little peg right there underneath, but I cannot, for the life of me, figure out how it works with Scorponok there. And that's what I'm going to call him for the rest of the video. Not Stinger Warrior. That is Scorponok. So that's it for the B. I'll go over the B a little bit more later on. And now, let's take a look at Scorponok himself. Now, my first impressions with Scorponok here is, damn, this guy is spot on to his cartoon counterpart, maybe aside from a few color variations. But man, this is a beautiful looking figure. And he's heavy too. And that's thanks to these die cast parts right here. The entire lower leg and feet are die cast metal. So that really adds some heft to this figure. Taking a closer look at him, check the head sculpt out. That looks exactly like the cartoon, 
except for the yellow eyes. I believe in the cartoon he had red, but still, that looks awesome. Got some gold paint here up top. He's got the tusks there on the side of the helmet. Moving on down here, he's got a little circle there painted on the chest. Once again, in the cartoon, I do believe that was red. Moving on down here to the legs, we've got some gold, purple, black, and gold here on the feet. And the tail, the tail on the back looks awesome. I love the paint job there on the stinger. And this tail has a lot of articulation. We've got one, two, three, four, five joints in the tail alone. So you can get quite a lot of poses with this tail. Rest of the articulation is fantastic for the figure as well. The head is on a hinge and a ball joint, so he can look way up. He can look around. He can do the little head tilt thing. And also, you can bring his head up high like so, or bring it down for more of a hunchback look. But I like it straight up like so. The arms are on a ball joint also, so you can do a complete 360 with the arms. There is an elbow bend. There is a rotation right there. There is a rotation here at the wrist, and the claws can open and close. No wrist rotation whatsoever. The legs, though, legs can go forward, back, in, and out. They're on a ball joint as well. They can also rotate. And down here, there is an ankle tilt, so all kinds of articulation for this figure. Now, the back of the figure cleans up, well, he did, cleans up pretty good. I've seen some people have issues with these legs because there's, there's nowhere really to put them, but you can kind of get them folded up and looking nice. Much better than what the Kingdom Scorponok looks like. So yeah, I love the looks of this guy. Now he does have hidden weapons inside the claws. If you can see the red tips here, let me see if I can get my fingernail in. He's got these missiles that can fold out just like in the show. His mega missiles, I believe is what he called him, or what he called them. So yeah, I like how they can hide up in the claw and then you can bring them out for combat. Now, bringing back in the Cyber Bee, the only place I figured out how to position the Cyber Bee is fold the weapons back up or the missiles back up. You can put the Cyber Bee in his claw like so. And now it's kind of like he's launching the bee. That's the only thing I figured out what to do with that little cyber bee. So now let's get Scorponok transformed into his beast mode. And of course, first thing we're going to do, let's go ahead and shut the claws up and we'll rotate the arms up like this, up over his head. Now turn the figure around and right here, you're going to take these sections and bring out. You can see the little pegs right there that lines up with those holes. So bring those out. And now you're going to bring the tail section down. Go ahead and move these legs out of the way. If you see the ball joints are facing back, you want to rotate this whole section around. These little legs can get in the way. So get these out, rotate it around, move. Still getting tied up. So move this section down and you'll see more legs right here. I love how these are tucked into his back. Go ahead and extend these little legs out. And now what you're going to do, you're going to take this purple section, flip this up and over. This is the scorpion beast head. And as you flip this over, it's going to bring his robot head down and fold into the chest. Now you're going to take the waist and separate the waist like so. And then you're going to bring it out and fold it up and under the scorpion tail. You see the big peg right there is going to line up with that slot. Get that lined up just like so. And now take the feet. You're going to collapse the feet on themselves. Turn the legs around. So what you want to do, you see the feet have these holes. Make sure the holes are facing up as you bring the legs toward the front of the scorpion. And now you've got these pegs right here on the scorpion head. You're going to line these pegs up with the holes on the feet. 
Now, these are scary tight. Like I said, the feet are metal. He's got these little plastic pegs that really don't want to go in there very good. But a little bit of work, get those in. Like I said, they are scary tight to get in. One went in real good. Okay, I got to manipulate this around a little bit, get that in. So now after you get the head plugged into the feet, you're just going to take the scorpion legs and get these manipulated around like so. They are very spindly. So get those out, spread them out, and there we have Scorpionock in Scorpion Mode. In Scorpion Mode, Scorpionock once again looks exactly like his cartoon counterpart. Taking a closer look at the head, you can see right there, we've got the beady red reptilian looking eyes that look just like he did on the show. And it always surprised me in Beast Wars that all the other animals were ve very realistic looking except for Scorpionock, which gave him this weird face. But still, I love it. It looks so show accurate. And I think it's really cool how the feet turn into the mandibles. Now, the legs, lots of articulation with these little legs. You've got one, two joints on each leg, but they can't support the weight of Scorpionock. You just kind of position the legs, however, to just pretend like they're holding him up because these die cast legs right here, which form the underbelly of the scorpion, that's all the weight right there. So those little legs are not holding those up. All the articulation from robot mode do carry over. You've got the tail here, lots of articulation there. I love it. You got the claws, you got the mega missiles that can fold out. This is just a great figure and I'm really, really surprised by how much I like him. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transform Element Stinger Warrior with Kingdom Megatron, Kingdom Black Arachnia, and Kingdom Rat Trap. The Transform Element MM03 Stinger Warrior, aka Beast War Scorponok, is a fantastic figure. I absolutely love this guy. And I'm so happy that I broke my no third-party figure rule and picked him up. I just couldn't say no to this figure who looks so much like a favorite character of mine from the Beast Wars television show. And his scale isn't too bad either. He's bigger than a legend, yet just a little bit smaller than a deluxe. So I think he works fairly well on the shelf with my Kingdom figures. And I am looking forward to comparing him with the Kingdom Release Scorpionok later on this year. So there you go, guys. Transform Element MM03 Stinger Warrior Scorpionok. So, does a Transform Element Stinger Warrior belong in your collection? Well, if you're a Beast Wars fan and favor the cartoon accuracy in your figures, Absolutely. This is a great toy. I love this guy. I love the looks of him. He is just so cartoon accurate. It's amazing. It is just too bad that Hasbro is not doing this with their version. But I'll refrain from a lot of judgment until I actually get that one in hand. So yeah, if you're into these third-party figures, now granted he is a little small, pick him up. You are not going to be disappointed. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I have channel memberships here on YouTube, and I also have a Patreon page. And we are still on our way to 10,000 subscribers by TFCon in October. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!